Hey ho! So, um, I made a second one, same as this one, uh, because I want to hear it in stereo, of course, and I want to know how, um, if you make another one, if it measures the same, and uh, it did, and then after I changed something, and then uh, they were still rather close, but tiny difference in the upper, upper, upper top end, like in the 18 or 70k range, uh, probably will not hear it, but uh, I had some uh, different felt on top of the magnets on this one and on the right one it's behind the metal uh, felt on the magnet, well it's very tiny, but uh, fleece aligned by the way did not do uh, exactly what I suspected, it became worse, which is kind of weird, so it might be something else well, anyhow, I want to have two so I can listen in stereo, but also I can um, change up the call design and change one of the speakers and uh, see what it does compared to the other. Of course, I take a measurement of the old coil before I do that, but uh, yeah, more to play with. <coughs> um, I measured the SPL. Now, the drivers are 1 ohm, which is really low. Um, so if you convert it to 4 ohm, you will lose 6 dB. So what I measured at 2.85 volts at 1 meter was 92 dB, which is, uh, well, very loud. But you have to take into account, you have to remove 6 dB at least. So let's say 6 dB and it's 86 for this kind of panel, which is still quite good. Now the metal makes me have the magnets further apart than I wish for. It's like almost 9 millimeters apart and it should be around 5. That will increase the feel. I don't have the metal so this is why it is the way it is. Uh, but it should gain at least, you know, let's say uh, 3 to 4 dB. So that's rather nice. Uh, should be in the 88, 90, or 89 dB range, which is at 4 ohms. Insane. <coughs> Anyhow, uh, yeah, very pleased. Yesterday I made a recording of one loudspeaker, so the microphone was quite close. It sounded really, uh, well, pretty good. Normally when I make stereo recordings, my mic is more uh, towards the seating position. But you get a lot of room sound, which you normally do not hear if you, well, you hear some of it of course, but if you're sitting on the couch, but the recording will pick it up. So this is an attempt to move it forward and choose a bigger angle on the mics, the, the maximum it can. And see how that goes. Maybe I'll move it even forward a little bit more. Alpha Audio has, I don't know what kind of setup they have, ORTF I guess, but I'm not sure. I think I asked them once, but they have their mic really close to the loudspeakers. And then, I don't know what kind of setup that is, because that's kind of weird. They have the loudspeakers a little bit close together, I guess. But it sounds uh, really good, to be fair. So, good on them. Um... I towed in the loudspeakers far more than I normally would do if I listen on my couch, which is further away. But uh, otherwise, the tweeters will be completely off axis of this uh, recording setup. So who knows, maybe it sounds like shit because uh, I did not test it. I'm just go for it, because otherwise I have to play at a loud volume for a longer time. Which is annoying, I think, for neighbors. Especially if I also want to listen to music as well, which is another 30 minutes of loud music. So I'm trying to, you know, don't have too much. <laughs>
Nice. Nice, nice, nice. <clears throat> Melody is not that interesting to me, but... Well... Um, yeah, uh, so they are... This is kind of a weird thing. By the way, I look like a Sunday person. Trainers on. Hair that is uh, going all over the place. Just so you know, I don't look like this normally. Well, maybe maybe fifty percent of the time because I'm home a lot. Anyhow, um, uh, they are crossed at, uh, with six dB per octave filter, and it's funny because uh, if it has a little bit more damping, which is not in there yet, you could do uh, quite some volume. Now it's crossed at six hundred six dB per octave, which is incredibly low, but the resonance is around one sixty. So I thought it was at 200 yesterday, but the biggest peak in distortion is at 158 or something. So really low. Um, so if you, you know, like blast away at that frequency, you will hear resonance at high volume. If you damp that a little bit better, it has a nicer roll off and not the peak in the, in the resonance. And you could get away with it like 600, 700, I think, especially if they're longer, it would be no problem, I think. I mean, they're 40 centimeters, I don't know. What is it? Let me measure it. Well, yeah, this is 40 and yeah, 40 centimeters. If you make them three times as big or preferably, well, I, I would prefer four times, but slightly bigger than the panel. So that's not going to work, but let's say, um, three times or three and a half you will cut distortion like half and then another time in half which is good uh, it will not like add up in the top end I think because you, you only listen to one piece and then there's high frequencies coming from here and they will like um, have phase issues so in the end top end will not like add up all the time when you make a panel higher the low end does, the lower you go. So it's actually quite nice if you make a huge line source. Uh, it's a bit like a horn. If you use a horn, then usually the low end raises in, in efficiency and that results in lower distortion. The top end is what it is usually. Uh, yeah, and uh, the base panel is 12 to be per octave Linkwitz Riley, but somehow uh, Linkwitz Riley 12 to be per octave and a 6 dB first order filter together works quite nice to me at least and it, it also adds up the best so it's kind of weird you would expect it would not but it actually does maybe because the tweeter is further away than the base panel that might be um, yeah but you you could cross this one as well with 6 to be per octave but that's gonna be troublesome because it has a rising response the 6 to be per octave filter will not get rid of enough top end to actually make a crossover that low. It will end up at 1200 hertz or something. Which is a shame because I want this one to take over earlier than that. So uh, it, it doesn't get into trouble. The distance from this to this is rather big. So I don't want this panel to play too high. That's the, the reason why there's a link with Riley second order. I usually or always use a uh, Linkwitz Riley second order on the base panels. You can compensate for the base losses a little bit uh, and create a crossover. Uh, if you want to like really determine a crossover, let's say 100 Hertz, that's gonna be troublesome. Then you have to EQ it flat, then use a, for instance, uh, 12 to B or 24 to B crossover but that you can only do that if you have a DSP and I usually tend to make something that is made with a DSP but could be made passively without too much trouble anyhow uh, yeah I think that's all there is to say I think I explained why this works so well and why the resonance is so low yesterday I believe maybe in short <clears throat> the foil is not tensioned sideways, which is normally the dominant factor in what the resonance will be. So in this case, this panel, 
this is pretty long so if you will let's say this has a resonance in the vertical dispersion it's so low uh, yeah we don't notice it this one is much higher and, and will determine the overall resonance the width same with this but in this case there is no tension on the foil it's just corrugated foil so you you would get like very low resonance as you would have in like a ribbon for instance if I show you the ribbon is this a frame? If I just blow on it or move it, it wiggles around at a very low frequency. It just blah, 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 does like this. Something similar happens in here, but since it's it's held by the sides, it's it's far less. It's not as low as the big one behind there. But since there's no tension, it's way lower than a normal stretched foil. If you would not stretch this without corrugation, it will flap around all over the place and you will have a lot of resonances and crap. So this is a it's a cool cool method. That's it for today. And uh, now I won't won't bother you anymore with um, tunes because I think I'll have to do some work but also I'm gonna use or try gazillion membranes different impedances, uh, different layouts, and see what it does. And hopefully get some custom steel to make it even better. And also this wood looks like shit, so I have to think about something that is doable and looks nice. See ya! Bye bye!